This is a demonstration of the NDP SAT solver with unlimited linear scalability and the processing of multiplier tasks of different bit sizes to output binary decision diagrams, BDDs, specifically, order decision diagrams, OBDDs. Here you can see an overview of the currently started machines in the Amazon cloud. We launched a total of 11 EC2 instances, with 96 cores each. As you can see below, we only ever use 92 cores per machine to have enough Linux system resources available. We start with as a 14-bit multiplier problem in 3CNF format. The 3CNF input was originally generated as a factoring problem where the unit clauses for the respective input bits are removed in order to input and compute the whole multiplier circuit. At the beginning, the process distribution is generated so that all machines experience a utilization. Here we see how the processes are distributed to the individual machines with a total of 1012 cores. The processes get all the load. But you can also see that the 14-bit multiplier problem is far too small, and before the machines reach full load, the load falls. The problem is already solved. After completing the calculation, which for the 14-bit multiplier OBDD was done in 30 seconds, the statistics are generated and shown. The entire processing of the input CNF for the 14-bit multiplier was processed in 49 seconds, with the actual generation of the tree or OBDD taking 30 seconds. The rest was statistics. The solutions as well as statistical information about the unique nodes and process times are displayed accordingly. Now let's do a slightly larger, 16 bits wide example on 1012 cores. Below you can see the utilization of the machines on the Amazon site. The graphs update in 1 minute intervals. The overview of the direct load can be seen here in the window for each individual EC2 instance. You can also see here at the bottom for the free memory per EC2 instance, that of the 396 GB of RAM total almost no use is made. The load sequences are now relatively well distributed and we can already see that the first partial results of the 16-bit multiplier OBDD are available. And although the 16-bit multiplier OBDD creates a much greater depth with many more nodes, the entire process is also completed extremely fast. To verify the real time, we have called up the Braunschweig atomic clock on the right hand side. This is correspondingly congruent with all other time values seen. The falling loads here are an indication that the problem has already been solved. The OBDD for the 16-bit multiplier was generated in 100 seconds. 
Now the statistics are assembled in packets of 100,000 nodes each in 12 processes distributed in parallel. And that's where the first results come in. In sum, we see the processing time for the tree or the OBDD here again. The gross time is almost 200 seconds with statistics and the net time for the OBDD was 100 seconds. Eventually, the solutions as well as statistical information about the unique nodes and processing times are displayed.